Oxytocin is the first line drug for prophylaxis of uterine atoning after delivery of third trimester pregnancy. Endogenous oxytocin is a 9 amino acid polypeptide. Oxytocin is formed primarily in the paraventricular nuclei of hypothalamus from where it is transported to the posterior pituitary and gets secreted. The posterior pituitary do not synthesize any hormone. They act simply as supporting structure for large number of terminal nerve fibers and terminal nerve endings from the nerve tracts that originate in the supraoptic and the paraventricular nuclei of hypothalamus. The exogenous form of drug is synthetic preparation with rapid onset and short half-life. Oxytocin is rapidly metabolized by hepatic oxytocinases and cleared in the urine and bile, resulting in half-life of less than 6 minutes. Exogenous oxytocin can be associated with serious side effects including vasodilation, achycardia, hypotension, coronary vasoconstriction, myocardial ischemia, and rarely even death, especially in hypovolemic or other hemodynamically compromised women. Many of these adverse effects are directly related to the dose of the oxytocin. Administration of the phenylephrine with oxytocin can mitigate the adverse hemodynamic consequences of the oxytocin. But phenylephrine may not be necessary as long as oxytocin bolus is avoided and the infusion rate is maintained below 1 unit per minute. That means if we use oxytocin more than 1 unit per minute or if we use bolus oxytocin dose then that may cause hemodynamic consequences. If we use high dose of oxytocin along with large volume of intravenous fluid especially those containing free water that may lead to hyponatremia, seizures and coma because oxytocin has structural similarity with the vasopressin. A prolonged intravenous infusion is more effective than bolus administration in preventing uterine atony. Administration of any bolus dose before an infusion does not provide any extra benefit that may cause hemodynamic derangements. High dose of oxytocin may be associated with clinically significant tachycardia, hypotension, University of Chicago Family Birth Center Postpartum Oxytocin Protocol Use standard infusion preparation Add oxytocin 30 unit in 500 ml of normal saline Caesarean delivery without previous oxytocin exposure or vaginal delivery Start infusion at the rate of 0.3 unit per minute If uterine atony persist, increase the dose to 0.6 unit per minute if continued atony, then increase the dose up to 0.9 unit per minute. Caesarean delivery with previous interpartum oxytocin exposure. Start infusion at the rate of 0.6 unit per minute. If uterine atony persists, then increase the dose up to 0.9 unit per minute. For continued atony, considered methyl ergometrin 0.2 mg IM single dose 15 methyl prostaglandin f2 alpha or carboprost 0.25 mg im may be repeated every 15 minutes for eight doses after atony is resolved decrease the dose of oxytocin to 0.06 unit per minute oxytocin also plays an important role in lactation a role that is far better understood than its role in delivery. In lactation, oxytocin causes milk to be expressed from the alveoli into the duct of the breast so that the baby can obtain it by sucking. Oxytocin is also called the bonding hormone or cuddle hormone as when human being touches each other with love, there is release of oxytocin. Especially during orgasm, there is big surge of oxytocin. This high level of oxytocin act on the CNS and develop emotional bonding between human being. Females usually release more oxytocin than men 
thus females are strongly bonded with men but men do get bonded but weakly carbetocin is indicated for prevention of postpartum hemorrhage due to uterine atony carbetocin can be used via intravenous or intramuscular route for intravenous administration carbetocin must be administered slowly over 1 minute carbetocin is intended for single use only no further doses of carbetocin should be administered contraindications are during pregnancy and labor before delivery of the infant carbetocin must not be used for induction of labor hypersensitivity to carbetocin or oxytocin hepatic or renal disease serious cardiovascular disorders and epilepsy common adverse effect after administration of carbetocin are headache tremor hypotension flushing nausea abdominal pain pruritus and feeling warmth just like oxytocin carbetocin selectively bind to the oxytocin receptor in the smooth muscles of the uterus stimulate the rhythmic contraction of the uterus increases the frequency of existing contraction and rises the tone of the uterine muscles carbetocin available in 1 ml vial containing 100 microgram carbetocin shows biphasic elimination after intravenous administration the median terminal elimination half life is 33 minutes after intravenous administration and 55 minutes after intramuscular administration storage of the oxytocin require protection from light and it is stored at the 2 to 8 degree centigrade continuously to preserve its activity and for carbetocin it can be stored up to 30 degree centigrade